This is how you make an S turn. You know, something where the, the track kind of squiggles in and out. And what I do is I just use my ruler and I just make uniform marks on the top of the track. So let's, I'm going to make a mark on seven. Every three centimeters, I'm going to make a mark. Okay. Now this one's more of a freehand construction, but it's um, you, you just want to have opposite triangles. So you want to have a triangle this way and this way, and then s skip a, a measurement and then have a triangle this way and this way, skip a measurement and then have a triangle this way and this way. Now I just made lines and the reason why is you want to make very thin triangles. So for our 90 degree turn we made two triangles that were very wide and that created the 90 degree turn. But this is more of a squiggly line so what we're going to do is we're just going to make simple thin cuts just like this. Watch. You just kind of go to the center and you cut it, you just make little thin little cuts. Okay? So if you use a thick marker you can actually have the children cut out, just cut out the marker really. Okay? Because we don't want to be making 90 degree turns here. We just want to create a little back and forth like you would experience on a real roller coaster. So you see how I have that and I also skip this line here. Okay? Then you just take your partner and you just hold the triangles together and they tape. So a piece of tape right there, right? And then a piece of tape right there, just like that. And then a piece of tape right there. And now you have a nice little S turn. And you can make as many S turns as you want. And then you'll have, you know, maybe you want to put a piece of tape on the inside here to smooth it out. But that way the roller coaster for the students can have a nice little S turn if you want to add variety in between turns and across the center of your support structure. Okay?